A 30-year-old stands accused of stabbing to death a 63-year-old man in his Kaka'ako condo last week. Jesse Nielsen now facing charges of murder and remains in custody with bail set at a million dollars. Court documents show the victim and suspect met on social media on an app. The suspect received a plea deal just last year for another gruesome crime. Chrissy Tomashiro has the latest. According to court documents, the victim, Yahua Nathan Yon, and suspect, Jesse Nielsen, met on a social media app. Nielsen sent a photo and his location to Yon and coordinated to meet at Yon's apartment on February 19th. According to investigators, surveillance videos showed 12.58 p.m., Nielsen and Yon going to his unit, and by 1.23, Nielsen was seen running down the stairwell and leaving the building. Experts say meeting someone for the first time is best in public places. Maybe going over to someone's places for the third or fourth date, but somewhere where other people know where you are and that you can be seen is very, very important. Court documents show officers interviewed a family member Nielsen was living with who told investigators Nielsen was acting erratically over the last week due to his methamphetamine use. And the family member asked Nielsen to leave because Nielsen said he was going to kill him. This isn't the murder suspect's first run-in with the law. Nielsen was arrested after assaulting staff at the Pagoda Hotel last Wednesday. Court documents show he also received a plea deal last year after being convicted of attempted sexual assault involving a family member. Nielsen was sentenced to five years probation. You have to do sex offender treatment. You need to check in. You need to uh, give your DNA. Typically, you can't be around minors. You have to indicate where you're living, who you're living with, where you're working, what car you're driving. Documents show Nielsen had not reported to his probation officer since February 6, despite instructions to do so, and failed to maintain housing and substance abuse treatment. Nielsen is expected in court for his initial appearance this week. Chrissy Tom Shiro, K212 News, working for Hawaii.